Today we are making very tasty lemon cake. And let me tell you, this cake is something else. You never tried anything like that before. It filled with citrus aroma and flavor. And I think this cake is good for the holidays. So we start with the mixing sugar and butter. And we mix it really, really well. Whip it till butter becomes white and even consistency. Then we clean the sides and bottom of our bowl, add honey, mix it again, clean the sides of the bowl again and add and add eggs one by one, mixing each egg really well. And then I added my citrus. So what I did, I took lemon together with the skin, also and half of orange, and I blended it all together with the skin. And that's what I have, and that's what I added to my butter. And believe me, it's much better than adding just the zest. So add the citrus, mix it really well together, clean the sides and bottom of your bowl again and mix it a little bit more and add baking powder. You can see that my butter curdled a little, that's okay, that doesn't matter, it, it doesn't affect the finished product at all. And then I added sifted flour and mix it on a, and mix it on a slow speed for a while and then on a medium speed until everything combined together and as you can see the dough is perfect consistency uh, then i mix it a little bit with the spatula picked up everything from the bottom and the dough is ready i used the silicone form uh, you don't have to use it, you can use any form you like. Actually, it's better if you're using, if you're gonna use a uh, bundt cake form. That way your cake will bake evenly and it's not gonna take as long as for me. Because my form is, uh, it's very tall and it took instead of the 25 minutes half an hour it took for about an hour so keep in mind that while our cake is baking i'm gonna show you how to make a glaze it's really easy so take your cream or milk heat it up add butter and wait till your butter is all dissolved in your milk then take off the heat add white chocolate and mix it up until you have this really nice liquidy glaze and set it aside you can cover it with the plastic wrap so the plastic wrap will touch your glaze or mix it once in a while so the film is not going to form so when your cake is ready take it out of the oven and and I immediately took it off the form and you can see why I chose this form. First of all, silicone never fails. Second of all, look of look how beautiful it came out. But it took longer and it has some burned part parts. So when my cake cooled a little bit, I cut off a little bit of the bottom. Also, I took this Okay, so I took this fine grater and just run around my cake. It's that it's not burned that bad, so I just leveled it up and I took a knife and cleaned it with my serrated knife a little bit. And that's it. My cake is 
perfect and it's done it's ready so now it's time for our glaze pour it all over your cake and it's beautiful and you and you can decorate it with anything you like, with anything you want. Holidays are coming up, so you can decorate it with the holiday decorations. So I took a little bit of dried roses. Uh, dried lavender uh, it's very aromatic and it's very tasty also i use this by chocolate petals so that was my decorations like i said you can use like you can use anything you want so guys you have to make this cake it's so fluffy it's so delicious so moist and this the whole citrus i added it makes a lot of difference and you can make this cake for your friends wrap it up nicely and give it as a present so i hope you like this recipe and i hope you will make it and i'll see you in the next video